Hello, let's discuss the theorem of radical axes. Let's first define what is the power of a point. If we are given cycle and any point in the plane, power of point P with respect to omega cycle, this is equal P O square minus R square. P O square minus R square. And let's prove that this is always equal to P B times P C for any intersectional line. So P O square minus R square is equal P O minus R times P O plus R. And now let's R in, in the PO minus R, this is equal to PN, and PO plus R is equal to PN. So, PO power point P is equal to PN times PN. And now prove that this is equal to PB times PC. Because B and MC is inscribed in cycle omega, we can see that angle M is equal to angle B and angle N is equal to angle C. Because if we assign C as alpha, then angle B and M will be 180 minus alpha, so angle P and B must be alpha. Similarly, we can prove for B and M. And we get the triangle PBN is similar to triangle PMC. And if we write the similarity ratio here, we get that PN over PC equal PB over PN. And this is what we wanted to prove. After defining the uh, power of point, now let's define what is radical axis. If we are given any two triangle two cycle, radical axis is the locus of all core all points whose power of point with respect to these two cycles, omega 1 and omega 2, are equal. And how can we find this line? Let, at first, find the first point, call this K, whose uh, power of point with respect to W1 and the omega 1 and omega 2 are equal. So. KO1 square minus A1 square must be equal KO2 square minus R2 square. Because R1 and R2 are uh, already, fi already fixed, we can always find such point on this line. They are KO1 square minus k o2 square this will be equal a1 square minus r2 square and this is constant and how can we find all such points if we draw an altitude on this line para, um, perpendicular to o1 o2 and which pass to k all these points will have the same power point with respect to omega 1 and omega 2 and now let's prove this one. Take any point, C. Now look at what is power of C with respect to omega 1. This is equal CO1 square minus R square. And this is equal by the Pythagorean theorem, uh, 
k square plus ck1 square, ck square minus r square. And okay, now look at the same thing for the second one, second cycle. Power of c with respect to omega 2 is equal co2 square minus r2 square, and this is equal um, o2k square plus ck square minus r2 square. And we want to prove that these two things are the same. We can eliminate ck square because both of them have that. Have this term. And we wanted to prove that O1k square minus R1 square is equal to O2k square minus R2 square. And this is uh, clearly um, obvious because K was chosen such that this was correct. So we have proved that vertical axis is this line. And now let's define what is the radical axis of two squares which are intersecting. of these two square omega 1 and omega 2 and we have already noticed that for a power of uh, a b respect to omega 1 is equal to 1 o 1 a square minus r square and this is clearly equal to 0 and power of Omega 2, the power of a with respect to omega 2 is equal to O2 a square minus R2 square, and this is also equal to 0. Similarly, we can prove that this is also the uh, power of b with respect to omega 1 and omega 2 is also 0. So this means that a b line will be around their radical axis. And now, say what is that? Theorem of radical axis. If we are given three cycles, any three cycle. Their radical axis will meet in one point of this omega 1, omega 2, and omega 3. At least take, at least take intersection of two radical axes called A, B, C. As we have already proved that PB times PA is, is power of point P, P with respect to omega 2 and omega 1, because AB is the radical axis of these two cycles. So PB, uh, P, uh, P, C times P, D is power of P with respect to omega 1 and omega 2 and omega 3 cycles. But we know that P, B times P, A is equal P, C times P, D because this was the uh, 
this can be proved also by similar triangles. PBC is similar to PDA because this angle is equal to this one. So from this part, we know that power of point P with respect to omega 1 and omega 3 is also same and this is equal PC times PD. So this means that P must be on the radical axis of omega 1 and omega 3. So EF and P must be collinear. So this was our proof.